Today we had an assembly in memory of 9-11 and our fallen heroes. Also in concert with the meaning of service, John Hersey High School is a service school. We have an SOS program that we promote service over self, so we incorporated our 20th anniversary of 9-11 with also the meaning of service for our entire student body today. Really amazing to see the turnout today. We had Gold Star families here. We invited any family that lost a family member in the line of service. Um, we invited uh, first responders from the area. We had a chief officer from Northwest Community Hospital. We had uh, firefighters, police officers, veterans. We had board members. We had the mayor of Arlington Heights here today. The word got out as far as our mission with, you know, not only the meaning of service, but remembering 9-11 and working with Governor Quinn. It seemed like a lot of people wanted to come and take part in the day. Today's event was so powerful, very well done. And you know, it's exactly what we should be doing across our country to remember what happened 20 years ago, never forget those who lost their lives or those who were first responders, and then also the service members who came after that um, went to Iraq and Afghanistan. And we will never forget, and we will remember to always uh, keep him and everyone else in the forefront of what we do and when we talk about hard work and service and bravery. Another really exciting moment was when um, our football team recreated one of our uh, Gold Star family's son's actual football jersey. Um, we had uh, Mr. Syverson here and he accepted that jersey on behalf of his son and actually Mr. Syverson actually wore his son's old husky sweater here today. Um, super vintage, it was super adorable, and you know we were so excited to have them, but to see that exchange of that jersey was a really powerful moment, not only for, I think, that family, but for our students as well. People here have always, you know, support us when we've had a chance to see them and stuff, and to do this, I think, is really good, not, not just for us, but for the whole community. And tying in with the, the uh, memorial at the library, yeah, that's... That, yeah, I think it's, it's it just perfect, touches your perfect heart, timing. Really, to see. Portraits of a Soldier came to Hersey as a result of Jim Mix and Todd Hatfield's work. We were very lucky that Governor Quinn um, worked with us on transferring the exhibit here. Uh, truth be told is that Governor Quinn actually has an artist that would draw each of these heroes as a result of going to their service or paying respect to their service post 9-11. And his team of artists actually generated those images in that exhibit. So that exhibit has traveled and we're lucky to have it as a destination here. Well, remembrance is really a human quality that is very special. You know, um, I think the service members who are in Portrait of a Soldier would most care that you remember them and their service and also take care of their friends and buddies who came home. Uh, so it's important that we kind of take that to heart right now. You know, when you do see it collectively, you realize that these are not just names in the paper and statistics. These are real life human beings who breathed, they felt dawn, and they cared about others. There's so many people to thank. I, I think not only do we thank our healthcare heroes, our veterans, our Gold Star families, our first responders, but I think I want to thank Jim Mix, Todd Hatfield, our Board of Education, our administration when it comes to offering these really unique opportunities. This is a whole community. If you notice today, there's members from the community. This is a whole community effort. In order for us to function as a school, we need the support of our community. And today could not happen without the support of everybody. It was all hands on deck.